Um, I'm Daniel, uh, better known as ThoughtFix of tabletblog.com, and I got my N810 yesterday morning over breakfast, and I totally forgot to eat. <laughs> um, I was so excited about this. It, uh, Of course, I had a lot of speculation from the FCC filings and from uh, leaked photos, and you know, the name was leaked, and so I, I really had a good idea as to what to expect, but when I actually held it in my hand, I didn't expect it to feel so solid and so polished and just, um, what the word is, uh, I guess, luxury. Like, it feels like a luxury device. Um, yesterday I used it very extensively. I didn't, uh, I didn't do a lot of blogging directly from it, but it's, it, it really pleased me to use it. And, you know, with the keyboard it made things a lot easier. Uh, what really hit me in the middle of the day yesterday was that the Nokia 770 and the N800 uh, did not have the consumer value out of the box as they possibly could have. You had to figure out how to install applications and install applications and you know, to, you had to build it to make it worth the cost to you. Whereas the N810 out of the box has the GPS and the sunlight readable display and uh, you know, the, uh, it feels nice, it feels like it would be worth the money out of the box to the consumer. Uh, it's a more powerful email machine, a messaging machine with the keyboard. So with all those features, that, you know, I, I don't think people worry about spending 450 out of it. Um, yesterday, uh, I blogged about this, you know, at 4 a.m., but yesterday uh, I was dropped off in front of a hotel that wasn't my hotel, and my hotel was about five blocks away, and I was, um, I, I I'd had a couple, and I was still, I was still walking, but um, I had to walk five blocks, and I was started walking a few blocks in the wrong direction, and I realized I don't know this area, and so I pulled out my N810, and I fired up the maps. It took some time to get a, a GPS fix with the tall buildings here in San Francisco, but uh, once I got the GPS fix, I figured out my way back to the hotel, and you know, me, I, I stumbled back to my hotel and <laughs> and crashed. So it was uh, right then is when I when I told myself this is never going to leave my pocket. <laughs> this is never going to leave my pocket. This is it's too powerful of a machine with all the features to. Uh, to really leave behind. I mean, every once in a while, you know, if I'm going to a club or some event where I don't want some bulge in my pocket, uh, I'll leave it behind, and that's why it's better that it's not the phone. Um, you can carry a much smaller phone, but uh, in my normal day-to-day -day life, I'm going to use this extensively, so I'm very pleased. Um, how did the um, Q&A session with the product managers and the software? The Q&A session, um, went very differently from what I expected it to because I, w I thought, you know, they were going to tell us about the product and, you know, we'd give initial feedback, but they were really, they were really digging for us to find flaws in the product, stuff that they want us to improve. Uh, you know, it was just, they, they wanted to know what was wrong with it still. <laughs> and we had to, like, dig to think of ideas, um, like, you know, that's, I'm not so fond of the mini SD card slot, you know, this some things I would improve on the tablet, but you know, overall, it's they wanted us to tell them what what's next, as opposed to you know what's now. So it was really it was really very impressive to get that attitude from them. So I'm very pleased.